Sirrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Of course, I have to talk a little about the Chrono Trigger ROM hack called Flames of Eternity, not to be confused with Crimson Echoes, which was made first years ago, but Flames of Eternity is a more complete version intended to bridge the gap between Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. It's pretty interesting, the music and artwork are modified a bit here and there, and you start the game, after a lot of text, as Magus, by himself on the surface of the planet after the collapse of the Kingdom of Zeal. Personally, I thought Flames of Eternity was just okay, it's certainly not terrible, but obviously it can't touch the original game. Still, it's a decent enough story using familiar characters, themes, and visuals. Last, but certainly not least, we have the infamous Earthbound Halloween hack made by Toby Fox, otherwise known as the guy who later went on to make Undertale. So yeah, if you enjoyed Earthbound and Undertale, well, I'll just say it's interesting and leave it at that. This ROM hack is... I'm not even sure what to say because I don't want to spoil anything. I'll just say it's super messed up. You play as a bounty hunter who has to track down a monster who killed and ate this girl's parents, and you come across all sorts of horrifying stuff. It takes place in a timeline where the four Earthbound characters did not succeed, so there you go. This ROM hack is very crude, but you gotta check this one out. Okay, so there's nine ROM hacks for you just to get started. So how do you play these games? If you really wanted to, you could buy a hacked reproduction cart with a fancy label and all that, but that's not really necessary. You just need an emulator or a flash cartridge if you insist on playing these games on your original SNES hardware. ROMhacking.net is a fantastic resource not only for these ROM hacks, but for how to implement them and to get them to work. There's a link in the description that explains how this stuff works in detail. To put it briefly, you just need the original game ROM, a ROM hack, which can usually be found at romhacking.net and comes with a .ips file format and a program called the SNES ROM utility to join the two together in either a headered or headerless format. I've got a link to the program that'll do that in the description as well. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.